itself. Within the past couple of months, thousands of travelers have been stuck at airports. Two major airlines dealing with some huge issues, staffing shortages, widespread cancellations. Experts say there could be more on the horizon. Uh, passengers reporting issues with the flying experience from packed planes to rising fares. And, of course, as we've been reporting for months now, those violent, unruly passenger outbursts. Travel expert Peter Greenberg is here this morning to hopefully give us a silver lining in the travel department. Peter, give us a gut check. How will airlines handle the influx of passengers for the holiday season? What's your instinct telling you? Well, let's start with some basic numbers. Number one, when we talked last week, I told you that bookings to the United States from those 33 countries are up over about 750%. Today, they're up over 2,000%. So they're flooding in as of about three days ago, and they're going to continue to flood in through the rest of the year. There's no seasonality here. They're not waiting till next summer. So they're coming into major international U.S. gateway cities, New York, Orlando, Miami, L.A., San Francisco, and that, that flow is going to continue. That's to add to the stress of planes that are already about only 6% less full than they were two years ago. So that's going to exceed that now. Planes are going to be more full. The airlines are trying to trim their schedules because they don't have enough staff. They're not going to be able to bring them back in time for Thanksgiving at full force. So check to find out if your plane is even on the schedule, number one. And then number two, get out to the airport early. Try to get that first flight of the day because... You know what happens with delays. They don't just creep. They continue to creep almost exponentially as you get through each day. Southwest and American Airlines, we've talked about it. They had to cancel those thousands of flights due to staffing shortages. Do you think we'll see a repeat of that as we approach the vaccine mandates for these corporations? Well, the interesting thing about the vaccine mandates is the federal courts have now blocked those deadlines, even though the Biden administration had extended it back to January. That originally was December 8th, and the airlines had said November 24th, the day before Thanksgiving. So that's already been put on hold. That's the good news. People are going to be working. The problem is, are there enough people to work to begin with? Those staffing shortages continue. You know, you just can't go kick the tires and get back in the cockpit and fly. You're bringing pilots back. They've got to be trained. You're bringing flight attendants back. They've got to be trained. So it's going to be pretty messy all the way through the end of this year. So prices are up, uh, though we've heard from other travel experts that are saying the prices to Europe have gone significantly down. Uh, so there are, any, are there any big deals that we should be aware of if we want to travel for the holidays? Well, those experts are right. I'm one of them. I'm in Europe right now. The airfares here are at historic lows. Uh, round trip tickets from New York to Ireland are about $359. Uh, you're seeing other trips to, to Paris at about $395. So the, the deals are there. The capacity is there. Now, they have staffing shortages in Europe as well, but they're not as severe as they are in the United States. Are airlines going to keep waiving cancellation fees? I know during the pandemic, uh, you didn't have to pay that $200 fee if you had to change your flight last minute. Do you think that's going to hold? Well, when the airlines announced they were getting rid of those draconian ticket change fees, that was great. But they made an exception. That was for basic economy tickets. Those tickets are still use them or lose them. My advice, the next fare level up on a basic economy ticket is only about $30 per leg. That's an insurance policy you need to buy for yourself. Get that next fare ticket so if you have to cancel, you don't lose your money. All right, Peter Greenberg, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you as always. See you soon. You got it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.